Back now to our coverage of the dramatic problems that have been piling up lately for the health care overhaul and a report from Kaiser Health uh, news that's now getting a lot of attention. Kaiser says hundreds of thousands of Americans have been kicked off of their insurance plans in recent weeks because of Obamacare, calling into question the president's promise that if you like your coverage, you can keep it. Emily Miller is the senior opinion editor for The Washington Times. Mark Hanna is a veteran of two presidential campaigns, a Democratic political analyst, and an adjunct professor of media studies at the New School. Panel, welcome. Uh, so, Emily, let me start with you because this, this plan says it's people who are on the individual market who, you know, they don't, they don't get it from their employer. They have to go out and provide their own insurance or buy their own insurance. And they're getting kicked off because Obamacare requires the, all plans out there to meet a certain number of minimum requirements, including that they provide, for example, maternity care. A lot of these people had chosen cheaper plans that didn't have that stuff. That's no longer an option. So it was the president, you know, is his promise being kept? No, Kelly, it's not. I mean, President Obama said in 2009, if you want to keep your health insurance plan, you can. If you want to keep your doctor, you can. It's patently false. We've seen already hundreds of thousands of Americans have gotten letters from their health insurance companies in the past few months saying, sorry, you're off the plan. We're either going to put you into this plan if you don't give us another choice. If you don't decide, we're putting you into this plan. And so families around the country are being faced with exorbitant new costs that they weren't planning on in order for this whole system to work out to cover these, these unemployed people who need to, or uninsured people who need to get coverage. Mark, what of it? Because the reports are, I mean, for example, Blue Shield of California sent 119,000 cancellation notices out and if you go through the list I mean it goes on and on and on Florida blue terminating 300,000 policies Kyber, Kaiser Permanente in California sent notices to 160,000 people insurer high mark in Pittsburgh dropping 20% of its individual market I mean the, it, the list goes on and on because they're saying look you know we, we can't comply and so you're out right. that's right and that's the, remarkable. Uh, what yeah what the Affordable Care Act does Megan is is that it basically takes these plans that are really predatory plans. It, it sets a baseline for what can be, you know, what an insurance uh, plan has to offer. And if it doesn't offer those things, then absolutely, they, they're, you know, these are companies that are booting people off because they're crummy plans, you know, just as though when people were buying home loans, if those loans were predatory, if we had more regulation back then, we wouldn't have gotten into the 2008 well, financial I, crisis. What if I liked my crummy plan? You know what I mean? <laughs> Speak, like, like maybe your, I like my you, crummy I'll plan. I mean, exactly. We had a dad on last sure. week who was saying, you know, look, we're done having children. I, there's a reason I didn't pay extra for maternity care. You know, I'm fine with that crummy plan. Right. There are basic parameters that you have to have. You, uh, insurance companies can't discriminate against people who have pre-existing conditions. They need to provide for, um, you know, for women's health and preventive care and certain certain things like that. So if well, people are getting let's look kicked at, off their roles, they're, they're able to go to the health care exchange yeah. and get these, get these affordable plans that actually accommodate all these sort of bare okay, minimum requirements. Okay, but in there, Emily, here's he's what, here's, conceding that people are getting kicked off of their existing right. plans that they did like. Right. And it, look, listen, we're Americans, and we like to make our own decisions about our lives, our finances, our families. You know, I was just talking to this childhood friend of mine, Robin, today. And her family, she's, they're small business owners. They've got three kids. They chose a policy that had a high deductible and a low monthly premium because that worked best with their finances. She said, we've always paid our bills. We've always worked hard. This is what we chose. Well, they got a letter from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Maryland, and it said, you're off. We will either appoint you to this one, which costs double, or you can go into the Obamacare exchanges. So she's now forced into a new policy that has a higher That's probably higher quality and, and less expensive. And, here, and, and, that, and to explain exactly the difference of what she gets, prescriptions. And her three kids don't use prescriptions, and they haven't yet. So she is paying double for something that she's not using. The thing That's is, how this, this is what I want to ask you, because, Mark, the president didn't say you can keep right. your plan unless it's crappy, and then I will decide it's crappy, and I will tell you what you get. I mean, isn't it up to me, if I, I want to pay less yeah, there wasn't for, a a, for a less exception. great plan, isn't that my right? I mean, mm -hmm. the, what we're seeing now is that right has been taken away from hundreds of thousands and perhaps millions of Americans. Look, there's a sucker born every minute, and, and do you have the right to go out and buy something that, you know, some... Swindler is trying to sell sell but you. But Robin like, is very happy. Actually, wait, wait, no, but let her finish. That wasn't does. being swindled. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, you know, look. All along, the president said you can keep your plan, but he also said, and he was extremely honest with the American people, there are certain baselines below which insurance plans 
can't be offered. There are certain types of crummy plans that are now going to be illegal because they prey upon people's lack of information when they're signing up for, for an insurance plan. So under this, under the Obamacare exchanges, my good friend Sally Cohn, who I know you know, you know, she saved her family $5,000. And yes, there are hiccups and there are all sorts of glitches with these online exchanges. But the people and, and Emily's friend, who was kicked off and, and is offered a more expensive plan can also go to her exchange. But the problem and find with the exchanges, the problem with the exchanges, and we just talked to three people about this last week, is you go on the exchange yes. and suddenly your doctor is not in the exchange. So now you now you have a choice. That's true of you all get kicked off your plan Megan, or you get kicked off of your doctor. And that also and, violates and your, and, and his coverage. Let's not and, forget and that that's, that's true of all private insurance. But, and, but it's not what the president okay, so promised. It's not what the president promised. That's the issue. Is you know that he and said so that over and over and over and over. And tonight, Americans are asking whether it was true. And it's and you know, the, the proof is in the pudding. I gotta go. You know what? Thank you both so much for being here. Thanks, Thank Megan. Thank you.